This video shows how to participate in auctions in SAP Ariba Sourcing. After you answer any prerequisite questions, you can begin bidding. The buyer might require pre-bids, which are starting bids you enter during the review period before the auction begins. To enter your pre-bids, click Select Lots. On the next page, choose Specific Lots and click Submit Selected Lots. You can return to the Select Lots page later if you want to change your selections. After you place a pre-bid on a lot, you can't deselect the lot. If pre-bids are required, a message displays stating that you must submit them. If you don't submit a pre-bid before the preview period ends, you'll be locked out of the event. Your bid must be at or below the ceiling price to be accepted. If pre-bids are enabled, blank boxes display for each lot you selected. For each lot, the buyer determines whether you bid at the item level and compete at the lot level, called unit price, or bid at the lot level and compete at the lot level, called extended price. Be sure to verify whether you enter a unit price or an extended price. Unit or extended price bid for each lot or line item. If you need help determining the bid amounts, click the information icon to view the bidding rules for that item. To submit your pre-bids, click Submit Entire Response. If you overbid an item, an error displays indicating the values you need to correct. If you underbid an item, a message displays indicating the underbid. You can either change your pre-bid or check the box to ignore the warning and submit your pre-bid. A message displays confirming that your pre-bid was successfully submitted. You can revise your pre-bids at any time during the preview period by clicking Revise Pre-bid, Entering New Prices, and Resubmitting. After the preview period ends, there might be a pre-bid review period, which gives the buyer time to examine the pre-bids received. You can see how much time is left in the pre-bid review in the upper right corner. The auction begins immediately after the pre-bid review period ends. If there's no pre-bid review period, the auction begins at the date and time set by the buyer. When the auction begins, you can start bidding. If you placed a pre-bid, you'll see it submitted in the market as a live bid. Otherwise, you enter your pricing at this time. You can enter prices into each lot that is open. If the buyer uses ceiling and reserve values, they're displayed in the bid console for the lot. Ceiling value is the maximum price you can enter. If you attempt to bid above this price, a message indicates that your bid is too high. Reserve value is the price below which the buyer determines it might make economic sense to switch the business to a new supplier. You aren't required to bid below this price. Next to the name of the item is an information icon that displays the bidding rules for the lot. These rules can vary between items and lots. Review them for each one. Each rule provides a detailed explanation next to it. Submitting a bid is similar to submitting a pre-bid, except only one lot displays at a time. When you enter the auction, the first sequential lot displays. To submit a bid for the current lot or item, enter the bid price for it. If you enter a unit price, click Update Totals to view the extended price. The updated total displays in the Extended Price field. To submit your bid, click Submit Current Lot. If your bid is invalid for any reason, an error message displays. Correct the errors and click Submit. After you submit a bid, a message in your current ranking display. The buyer can also create a line level bid with extended pricing. As you can see, you need to enter only a per unit price for the entire lot, taking into consideration the quantity involved. In addition to these two lot setups, the buyer can allow you to submit an extended price during the auction, but submit your line item pricing after bidding. This is similar to line item bidding, except that during the live auction, you don't need to enter your line item prices. This lot setup is often used when there are a large number of line items to make it easier for participants to bid in a timely manner during the auction. After you submit a bid, use the market feedback to monitor the auction and to determine your ranking. If you submitted a pre-bid, market feedback displays on the auction page after it goes live. The buyer can choose one of four different forms of participant feedback. First, the buyer can allow you to view only your bids in the market. Second, the buyer can allow you to see the market-leading bid and your rank. 
This option allows you to see the lowest bid in comparison to your bid. If the buyer allows you to view other bids in the market, the buyer can choose from two options, generic aliasing or unique aliasing. Generic aliasing allows you to see all bids in the market, but the number of competitors and their names don't display. Unique aliasing assigns an alias to all participants, such as Company 1, Company 2, or Company 3. Your company name displays for you, but other participants can't see it. After you submit your response and review the feedback, you might want to change your bid to improve your ranking. Remember that you'll need to reduce it by at least the bid decrement amount below the leading bid. To change your bid, you can either type in a new price in the field over your previous bid value, or use the decrement bid by function. Decrement bid by decreases your bid by a percentage or monetary amount. By default, it is set to a percentage. However, you can toggle it to a monetary amount by clicking the percent sign. Enter a decrement and click Apply. Your new bid is calculated and it displays in the price field. An easy way to become the new market leader is to click Take Lead. This button enters the minimum amount required to become the new market leader in the price field. The Take Lead button is available only in auctions where you're allowed to see the lead bid. To submit the bid, click Submit Current Lot. To return to your last bid, click the Reload Last Bid button, which clears any changes in the bid entry boxes and redisplays the last valid bid that you submitted. When time runs out and no more overtimes are triggered, the lot goes to review status and no more bids are accepted for the lot. The review period gives participants a final opportunity to call the help desk with auction issues and questions. After a lot reaches review status, you can continue to the next sequential lot. You can switch to other lots by clicking them on the left side of the page. When the review period for the final lot has ended, the auction displays pending selection and cannot be reopened. You can view other videos to learn more about the project to which you've been invited.